Kia ora koutou. Welcome to this episode of Idle Heroes. Um, today we're on the FFS account, but we're going to go through the rest of my accounts um, and do the Imps Adventure. And then we're also going to go across to the 500 subs giveaway account uh, and do the Imps Adventure there. So if you haven't uh, already, go check out that uh, video of the account giveaway. Hit the like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to be in with the chance of winning that account. Um, also, stay tuned. We might be adding a account uh, giveaway at 250 subs. Um, I just need to get around to making the video and getting, getting that out for you guys. So it's a sooner goal, um, more easily achievable, and help, hopefully will help boost us towards getting to that 500 goal as well. Also, guys, uh, what I'm going to do, uh, you'll see on FFS, I have 7,000 gems at the moment. If you have less than 10,000 gems, I would recommend saving them for anniversary. Um, at the moment, though, the only thing we sort of know that you can spend your gems on is the coin scratch event for the three stars. Uh, but that is definitely a good event to spend your gems on. Um, you will always need three stars, and you can also use them as fodder for the altar event, which we don't yet know what the rewards are, but it may be worth doing. And... Um, you can potentially get Russell copies from doing the scratch uh, card event for the three stars. So keep that in mind. Don't spend your gems like I'm going to, but on my accounts, um, I am going to go through and purchase all the dice for, the, for this video for the Imps adventure. Um, on each of the accounts, I have already completed Shelter. So we do still have one day left of the event meaning we'll get another four dice. Um, so each account will be starting at 44, and we're just going to see what our variation is with the luck. Um, I'll start off with the first 44, and then we'll purchase the dice and see how, how we do. Nice, so it's good to get the huts leveled up as quickly as possible. When you're starting out, what you want to roll is either a four or a five, the five is going to give you the wishing hut with that extra dice. Nice, a material chest straight away. It's not bad. Five stars, nice. Perfect. Leveling up that hut is uh, really good early on. Ideally, we'd roll a two here. You want to get the um, lucky dice as early as possible as well. And this is where you don't want to be. But a four ain't bad. All right, we got those five star shards maxed out. Two, not bad. Hopefully we can get a three here. All right, hut's level three. And now, nice, we got that lucky dice. So not too, like it didn't take us too long to get it, which is good. The sooner the better. We do want to get this other... Um, we have two out of three already at level three. We do want to land on the other Starry Mushroom Hut. So that's perfect. We want to roll a six from here. And maximize that movement. Nice, free dice. Perfect. From here, it's debatable... Um, about using the lucky dice. I tend to, if I'm still two squares away, I'll use the lucky dice. Um, if I'm one, I won't. That's just my opinion. Nice, another material chest. Nice, free dice is always good. 
Perfect, we got that third hut upgraded. So I'm gonna roll three from here. Free dice, free movement, always good. Two. Nice, powering up a random workshop. All right, so where are we at? We got 119 with our first 44. Um, I'm gonna just buy them in batches of 10 um, because all we want really is on this account to reach 200. Any higher uh, for the material chests, it would be nice. Um, we don't have a lot of gold, we are Potentially going to be able to do three orb loops here on FFS, which it's looking like Delassium is going to be the reward. So we should be able to make really good progress. Um, and the gold is going to be able to be spent on the um, Zongzi, or however you pronounce it, um, which you'll be able to use to get, hopefully, one side may provide more scrolls the other side orbs we'll have to wait and see from the sort of selection chests or whatever the the drops are for that um but hopefully if one side is more geared towards orbs we're going to go for that side to try and maximize our possibility of completing three loops um, but yeah like i said 200 is what we're aiming for so we can use the five star selection chest during the event to get another delassium copy Oof. <laughs> oh no. All right, not too bad. We only went back once. We still get the stars for passing that mushroom hut, so it's not... Could have been worse. All right, from here we want to roll a four. And so we're at 149, let's buy the next 10 dice. All right, perfect, so from here we're gonna go six. Not where we want to end up. All right, now we're going to go for five dice. Hopefully we go forwards. Yeah, need a three. Double stars, that's fantastic. All right, so we're at 194. With tomorrow's four dice, um, we should be hitting 200, and then we'll make a judgment whether or not those last five dice we can buy for gems is gonna get us to 230 or not. If it is, or if it's a possibility, then I'll buy them out. Otherwise, we're saving those extra 500 gems for the anniversary. Now let's claim out our rewards. And we'll have a quick break while I just jump across to the other accounts. All right, now we're over on the mini account. Um, again, like I said, we've done the shelter mission, so we're going to start with the 44 dice and then buy them in batches of 10, depending on how we're doing.
Ooh, not a good start. Nice. Cool, double stars is good. So unless we get um, the lucky dice in this next round, ooh, hopefully we get a five here. Oh, no. So I don't think we're going to be doing as well as the FFS account just because it took us longer to get the... Um, Lucky dice, but we'll just have to wait and see. Not too bad. Great. We'll skip those six. So the only issue with skipping six is not leveling up that bottom corner mushroom hut, but it is what it is. Six free movement is pretty good, um, so it's super hard to pass up. Oh, backwards again. Oh no. Alright, six again. Bunch of sixes. Perfect. We finally got that last hut leveled up. All right. So 117 on FFS, we're at 119. So we'll go ahead and do 10 at a time again and see how we do. And a floor again. One fifty two, nice. Uh, we'll go for another ten. Couple of small rolls in a row, not very helpful. Great. So that 10 did not get us very far. Up to 167. So I think we're going to have to buy out the full 10. So we've just been having some pretty bad luck. Lots of consecutive low rolls. Oh, God. So 187. We have to get really lucky with our four dice um, tomorrow. So we'll get... We'll get five stars for passing the starry mushroom hut right in front of us, which would put us at 192. And then if we use, depending on where we land, um, so if we land on the spirit, we can do six to get directly to the lucky dice. That will give us another five for passing the bottom starry mushroom hut. 
which is saying going to put us at 197. And then those three normal dice we would have left over, we can just hold on to them because they're worth two stars each, which is six, which is going to put us over 200. So we can definitely do it pretty easily. Um, even if we have to use two dice to get past the bottom corner starry mushroom hut, uh, being getting those two mushrooms, uh, mushroom huts, getting past them, putting us at 197. So long as we have at least two dice left, we're guaranteed to get 200. So that's something, guys, just to remember, leftover dice are worth two stars each. So if, if you're not guaranteed to pass a hut that would put you over, make sure you check how many dice you have. Is it going to get you to the next chest? All right, let's collect out our rewards and we're going to go across to my main account. So hold on one moment. All right, we're over on the main account. Uh, same situation again. You'll see we're starting off with 44 dice. We'll get into it straight away. Nice mushroom hut first. Throw two dice. Okay, so hopefully that's not what we want. So with the uh, two dice card at the Fortune Hut, if you have a lucky dice, uh, you can pick to roll five or well, you basically just want to roll 10 to get directly to the lucky hut again. Um, otherwise, if you don't have one, you just want to hope that you get lucky and roll to roll a 10 to land there. We have not had the best luck. Oh, man. Terrible. All right, now we want a two again. That's not when we wanted the two. Next roll doubled. So this, again... The roll that's doubled, uh, if you have the lucky dice, you can roll a 5. It'll double it, take you 10. We want to roll a 5 with our normal dice here, hopefully. No luck. So a 4 would be nice. 2. And again, we missed the lucky dice on that round. We haven't leveled up the huts very well either. So this is where you can see sort of RNG comes into it um, and getting that lucky dice. Hopefully, so again, we have another opportunity to roll a five. All right, well, at least now we have all of the huts upgraded. So we're at 96, which isn't bad considering we don't have um, a lucky dice. I might actually, here on my main account, we don't necessarily need um, the hero selection chest. So I think on this account, just based on that start and not getting the lucky dice at all within those 40, um, we're going to skip spending gems on dice here. So we're going to go from here, go across to the giveaway account and see what our luck is like there all right now we're over on the giveaway account again we'll be starting off with 44 dice going straight into it and we'll see how we do here Cool, that's no good. We have 
been landing on the Kama Hut a lot. Oh, man. So we're on a two or a four from here. Obviously, don't get what we want. All right, free dice, I'll take it. So from here, we want a four or a six. Now we want a two and a one. Oh, free dice again. I'll take it. I would prefer to get the lucky dice. So here we want to roll five. All right, all our huts are level three, which is nice. Oh man, back on that Karma Hut. And again. So here we're at 103. This account also being closer to it's an end game account. I have built up some food. We're getting pretty close to being ready for anniversary. Um, I think we'll just go ahead here and also skip buying the dice. Um, what I'll do though after this, I'll jump on. If you guys ha haven't, just search through Reddit. Um, quite a few people have done run probabilities and made simulators for the Imps Adventure. So I'll use one of those simulators for where we're at and say that we have 30 dice left um, and just see if it thinks we'll make it to 200 with a high probability. If not, then again, like I said, we'll probably just skip the buying the dice here as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're all hyped for anniversary. It looks like the event is going to be pretty good um, based on what we know so far. Um, that's going to be it for today. Stay tuned for more Idle Heroes content. If you want to help me out, it would be amazing if you just hit like, subscribe, and that's it. Thanks, guys. Kakite.